have probably known, known me, known Lauren. Uh, we're excited to be here today. We're going to do a little uh, short, short film here so that we can uh, use this for our website and see how this presentation goes. So we actually put this uh, PowerPoint presentation together. Um, we started it four years ago. Elevate is about five years old. We're Small Business of the Month for August of the Omaha Chamber. We're web design uh, B2B Best of Omaha. So a few accolades this year, constantly uh, trying to grow our business. Uh, we have a few main core competencies. And uh, actually want to talk about elevated our business from building branded websites, advanced web applications, SEO, web design, we can improve your marketing efforts by increasing traffic, leads, and sales. So our first core competency is web development. And we do secure coding, hosting, and uh, let's see if I can see through the glare, 24 seven support. How's the glare on the? It looks good, it looks fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. So build, optimize, manage. What is build, optimize, manage? Does anyone have any ideas any what build, optimize, manage means? Okay, well, we build your website, we optimize it for the first page of Google, and then we manage it to make sure that you can track all of your analytics. Uh, our main goal is to help you grow your business. Whether you're a dentist, smart card, you know, you work in a bank, we really have the applications to be able to help you to get to the first page of Google. So by creating a new and improved website, we'll use a WordPress uh, CMS. WordPress is the number one growing web CMS, which is a content management system in the, in the world. It's a free open source platform. We're big believers of uh, open source, which means that anybody can use it. It's free. You don't have to pay a monthly subscription. What that does is that allows other programmers to go on that platform and build it. So you, instead of starting on the ground level, you're, you're always building up, up, up. So it's, the technology is still HTML, PHP, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, you can easily optimize using Jetpack SEO or Yoast SEO. And we can always install Google Analytics. Uh, we're big believers of requested quote forms, which I'm going to get into. That's going to be a big deal. Responsive web design, that is where it's applicable on your desktop, laptop, tablet, or mobile phone. It actually just, you use a JavaScript code and it turns it to make it expand to match your device. So you no, no longer need a mobile separate website. It's all encompassed. So a new website that's built responsive on any device will dynamically resize according to the web visitor. An average of, I think it's 72% of users are using their mobile devices now as opposed to desktops. So personal attention, one-to-one, -one is very important for us. We want to get it right there. We don't want to be that pie in the sky. We don't want to hide behind our computers. We want to be right here front to front with you guys, talking to you, chopping it up, you know, looking eye to eye and seeing what your needs are and how we can help you grow your business. We do the majority of our sales face-to-face. -face. Uh, if you're really good, you can probably do a join.me, use the presentation, and work people through that way. That's a pretty high level sales skill. So um, so once we build your website, the second core competency is optimization. We also do content writing, content creation. And so when it comes to four different ways to drive traffic, you have directory management, local places, pay-per-click, which is AdWords, Facebook, and Bing, and then search engine optimization. Does anyone have any? questions about either of those four. Okay, so the way that we describe the first page of Google as you look at it, now they have a new set which is called the three and three stack. The top three are ads, the next three are your local places, and then the, the next four are your search results which are, is organic. We feel like you have to do all three to really dominate the first page of Google. 
So when you're, okay, let's say you're on Google, so are you going to show up as an ad and are you going to show up as a business? You do. You want to show up in all three. You want to show up in the ad, the local places, so that's really was revolutionized by the smartphone. And then you want to show up in the organic. Organic and local are always free. Free is a relative word if you're paying a company like ours versus putting your credit card on file with Google, Yahoo, Bing, Facebook. They actually have, uh, uh, it's built in now, so if you do a Google AdWords campaign and then you start your Bing account, then you can just API it right over and you can use the same accounts for Google and Bing. Facebook ads right now are one of the biggest things. If you guys aren't doing Facebook ads for your company, you should be. It's probably one of the cheapest. Okay, so moving on to content, which is really how we organically build your business. Um, just get a little water here. We call it content is key. You've heard content is king or cash is king on the car lot. Content really gets you to the next level. Um, that's by creating blogs, pictures, vlogs, video vlogs, video sales pages. What we're really trying to do now is create campaigns. For example, we want to we want to dominate the word Botox Omaha. So we have Botox. We build a mini site, or we do that for one of our clients. We optimize them for Botox. We do a landing page for Botox, pay per click ads. And we link it all together, and then we can basically let for example, Meridian Med Spot dominate the Botox Omaha. Of course, Ideal Images and other places are going to try to fight us for the same first page positions. So, su successful steps that I kind of went over content, original content, and relevant content. You know, you got to do stuff that Google's going to like, but you also you want stuff that the user is going to like most. Local optimization, we talked about real quickly. Um, I don't have too much more to go. I want to talk about our customer service a little bit. but um, So we've, I kind of brushed over local optimization. So our customer service is really important. Uh, I've been doing online marketing for about eight years. Um, Lauren's been a graphic designer doing branding for just as long. So we have the ability to start you from scratch when you're building a new company to help you brand with our elevated marketing blueprint. We have uh, your, a 12-month blueprint that we create for you. You actually end up with a 30-page document that will really help you uh, succeed. Logo, font, color, um, tagline, three adjectives. You could go to Daiki Design and get it done for about twelve to 15000 you could choose elevated, we do it for a fraction of the cost. Um, so that's kind of some of our expertise. We have a full team of web programmers, we have a team of optimizers, we have a great team of content writers, our lead designer, I do brand strategy as well as business development and project management. So when you're building even just a, a 10 to 15 page WordPress website, a three to five thousand dollar website, it really takes a whole team of people to be able to organize all that information and then build it into a website. Um, obviously, we're open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. We're always online, always on the emails. Uh, we have VPN managed hosting, so if you can't reach one of us, there's a 1 800 number which you can also reach. So we have the ability to track calls, track your analytics, track everything that you're doing. So, you know, there we have a, a battery company in town. They built a new website, we optimized them. They went from about three to 400 clicks a month to about 2,000 pretty quickly. A couple testimonials, uh, Heather Legg from Envision Success. We've done a few case studies together. She went from uh, very little traffic to between 700 and 1,000 hits a week, averaging between four to 5,000 unique visitors a month. Uh, Dave with Elliott Equipment, we were able to get them from a kind of failing, really, really old manufacturing company making about 12 million a year. Uh, 
They started an international program. They quickly went to about 65 million. Now they're even above that, and they have expanded their facilities. Their cranes are sold out. Um, we just wish we would have had a percentage uh, <laughs> put into the contract instead of just a flat fee. So that looks like that's about it for us. Um, again, my name is Andrew. Do we have any questions out there today? Why don't you do it by a percentage basis? So there's ways to do that with campaigns uh, where you can build a sales funnel, manage and track all the ads and say, you know, if we hit certain milestones, um, when we started with them, it was too early on in our company. They were one of our uh, clients in our first year of business and we didn't quite have that business method down yet. Um, there's uh, one company, uh, there's a site we use called ClickFunnels. It's a really great tool. And Dotcom Secrets, uh, they actually, in their book, Dotcom Secrets, talk about that uh, particular type of methodology where you get, you know, they have their highest, on their ascension ladder, their highest uh, program is a million dollars. Because if you're making two to five million in your sales funnel and you pay them 20% to help you do that, um, you know, people usually pay, well, you know, you want to look at probably between 6 to 20% of your revenue into marketing. And if you could do that, you know, would you trade a dollar for five every day? And how many times can you do that to grow your business? So. 6 to 20% of your revenue should be for right. marketing. Yeah. Wow. No, 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 that that for marketing know. capital. For marketing, for marketing capital, yeah. You're just trading it, putting it in that basket over there for right. them to help grow yeah. that. Because you have, you know, you have your overhead, your products or services, your employees, you know. Become paid. So, so you'll do it for 20%. 20%? Okay. Great. Question, is there um, a limit to how small or how big the business is that we would work with? We like to work with everyone. We say no business is too small or too big. Yeah, definitely. Well, great question. But what becomes that, that, that budget to get on all three of those things as far as the front page. That's kind of interesting. Um, so I mean, that when, part of that. Yeah. Right? When you're when you're doing pay-per-click, organic, and local search, um, you're probably, you know, if you had a good thousand dollar a month campaign, okay. ten thousand a year, you know, give you two free months, you're looking at a pretty solid campaign with a lot of traffic, trackable efforts, you know. So an ideal client for us is service industry, any small business, um, any e-commerce.